Hey everyone, it's JJ from Femora here to empower your inner video creator and we are back with another episode of You Ask, We Answer, the series where we answer the questions that you guys leave us in the comments section of our videos. And yes, we are back with another episode and I have all the questions that we were about to answer in our bag, our red bag, woohoo. So let's uh, go, wait a minute. It's not Halloween anymore, why do we? Stuff in here. My goodness. All right, let's actually get to the question, shall we? Okay. So this question is from Rhyme1712. Hello. Can you tell me how to keep the screen from blurring when shooting? Okay, so what I would recommend is double check your settings, especially your focus settings. Your focus can be set to two different settings, auto and manual. So if your camera is set to manual and you don't know, it could be the reason why your footage is all blurry. Autofocus adjusts the camera lens to obtain focus on the subject automatically, which can keep your shots in focus and crisp, but don't rely on it fully. For this feature, it's great because it means that you don't have to manually focus, but this may be the cause of your screen becoming blurry or changing focus on objects around the subject instead. For some, autofocus is a great feature because that means that you don't have to manually focus, but then sometimes with autofocus, it can focus on the wrong object instead of the subject. Um, so just make sure that you keep in mind what your camera is focusing on and double check the settings and kind of get familiar with your camera and how to use it. That's the best way to make sure that your footage is not blurry. Okay, so this question is from <laughs> Universal Studio. Oh man, Universal Studio. Um, hello, Filmora team. Are you called JJ Filmora <laughs> or JJ from Filmora? Please put my comment in your video. I need to see it in your <laughs> videos. Okay, I'm not really sure what this is asking. My name is JJ and I am from the Filmora team. So I guess it's JJ from Filmora, not JJ Filmora. Filmora is not my last name. <laughs> Although that would be an interesting last name. JJ Filmora. I wonder if I should change it. Let me know in the comments below if I should change my name to JJ Fillmore. <laughs> okay, next question. Okay. So, this question is from Memories Maker. How to create vertigo effect? Okay, so we did this camera hack um, a while back in a video and you can watch how we did this exactly by clicking the video up here. Watch it. I'll also link it in the description box below. So you can go ahead and check out how we did the vertigo effect. Um, in our last video. It's pretty cool. Okay, so next question comes from Helping Idea. If I got the license, will all the purchase effects be downloaded? Okay, so just to clarify, if you are referring to the Filmora Lifetime license, this means that you can export your video without the watermark. And that means that you don't have to renew your license because it's a lifetime. So this is the case if, for example, you purchase like a one year, that means that you'll have to renew. If you mean um, the purchase effects like downloaded in Filmstocks, Filmstocks requires a different subscription plan, which you can see in the link below. You can get effects from Filmstocks, which requires a different license in order to download and use, which is a separate purchase. However, if you've already purchased effects and would like to download them into Filmora 9, you will need to log in to your Filmstocks account and under downloads, you can download the effects. Once the download is complete, they will be available in Filmora 9. Hope that helps and hope that's clear. If not, let us know in the comment section below and we'll help clarify, okay? All right, let's get into our next question. This is from Belosh Bai. Um, hi, JJ. <laughs> Hello. Um, how can I change my eye color in my video at Filmora? Love from Pakistan. Oh, okay. So this can be a little tricky because Filmora 9 is a simple and easy to use video editor. So it does have some limitations if you're trying to achieve like real Hollywood effects. So, however, there are some things that you can do to change your eye color in your video. So for this shot, it's a scene where the character opens their eyes for a surprise reveal. Close-up shots are the best for this effect. So you'll need to film your subject with a tripod or anything that will keep your camera very still. This is key. Now cut your footage so there's a close-up of your character's eyes opening. Cut where they just open their eyes. Copy and paste two of these clips and place them on top of each other. Next, you'll need to apply an image mask to both clips. So if you didn't already know, Filmora 9 has masking effects. They can be found under the Effects tab in the Utility folder. Once you apply the image mask, double-click on the clip and work with each clip separately. Use the options to adjust the mask around the character's pupils. Now to change the color. 
In one of the mask clips, go to the advanced color tuning options and adjust the color to the color you want your character's eyes to change to. Play around with the options. We recommend making the color as bright and different as possible so it can be extra visible. Play back and there you go. Cool eye color change. I see this for, you know, like videos that show like a transformation or getting cool superpowers. And yeah, so just play around with Filmora 9, see what you can create. And yeah, cool stuff, guys. <laughs> all right, so, oh, that's all of our questions. No more questions today. Woohoo, done. Thank you guys so much for all of those questions. Keep on asking if there's something that you want to know or try in Filmora. Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of these videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.